Okay, uh, I said I would show you how, when things are in resonance, how the power consumption can go down. Uh, right now I just have these two. That one's not lit, don't worry about that right now. It's just these two lit. Uh, and there's one up here, that one's not lit. Just these two. Uh, now, I hope you can see that. At 6.3, 6.4 watts. That's my kilowatt meter. Now. It fluctuates, 6.3, 6.4. Now watch, I'm going to show you, if I take this off, this is going to my circuit, so I just want to show you this real quick. Oh, now, there we go. It's like I said, it's about five, uh, it's five watts. It fluctuates a little bit too, 4.9, five watts, it's five watts to power this box. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, now. So we got about, actually, it's at 6.3, 6.4. So we got about 1.4 watts going to our system right now. Lighting those two. All right, now just watch this. I'm going to bring this into resonance. By touching this coil, now it gets pretty darn bright. I gotta touch it just right. Those are still bright. Right, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Still bright. Now. Yeah. Ah, oh, hang on. Right there. 5.6. 5.5. Going down. This is a uh, earth ground. Put that in just the right spot here. And that's that's really bright too. Now what? We're at 5.4. See that? Now we're only using 400 milliwatts, less than a half a watt again. They were back down there. And now we've got three very bright lights. <laughs> it's broad daylight in here. It's hard. You can see them better at night. But okay, guys. So see, I just wanted to show you that. There's ways to bring things into resonance. And all of a sudden... That power consumption goes down. Resonance is extremely important. All right, we'll be back. Oh, and uh, just uh, two videos ago, right before the three-minute video, uh, the first video where I'm showing lamps lit up for the first time like these, uh, this was my schematic. Okay? Take a screenshot. I showed you my coils, you see my coils. Two and three eighths diameter, number 20 wire gauge.
Uh, all right, guys. Uh, just one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. And that is, uh, I'd like to have your opinion on what you think about what kind of coil would make uh, give us the most Q, the most charge. And uh, would that be like a solid or a stranded? Now it's funny because I looked this up online. Let me switch this around. So I looked this up online and it's, uh, where's, where's my camera? This side, this side, this side. <laughs> and uh, it gives me a real basic answer, like saying, well, if they're both of the same gauge, uh, solid would be uh, more charge. But then again, it never asked me AC, DC, or pulse DC, uh, high frequency. So those are the things that uh, make a big difference here. Because uh, when it talks about stranded, it says, it says, I asked my AI on my phone, you know. And, uh, but the thing is, it mentions that solid has the most Q. But like I said, it doesn't know if I'm dealing with, you know, it was talking about uh, charge, uh, the energy going through the wire. And I don't want to travel through the sand. I want to travel on top of the sand. You know, I like high frequency, superconductivity. You want to travel over the surface of things, not through them. So I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. So you could help me for a change. Uh, well, not for a change. I've always, you guys are always very helpful all the time. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, it did mention too about stranded. It said uh, solid would be the best. Stranded, though, uh, there's a good point uh, about the gaps in between the strands. And those air gaps create uh, resistance. But then again, I think about like welding cables. And I'm like, that's made of like a hundred or a few hundred strands, very tiny strands, because all those strands equal up to a heck of a lot more surface area. Uh, and the other thing is about uh, oh gaps in between the windings on the coil. Now that would give us more capacitance. But so yeah. Uh, so what do you think, guys? What what kind of coil would give us the best, the most charge? Um. Another question, don't you think plates, flat plates, would have a heck of a lot more surface area, give off a lot of charge? Uh, and then that leads me into thinking about uh, tubing. Hold on. Like that. Now the only thing is that. So wouldn't that give us a lot of surface? It's got the ID and OD. Or would the ID and OD interfere with each other? Because of like lens law, eddy currents being created throughout the wall. I don't know. That's, I don't know. Wouldn't that give us a lot of surface? That's why I'm asking you guys, what's your opinion on this? And then this kind of, so I want to know what kind of coil to build. And I built these ones, like to replace this one, but uh, this is stranded. Anyhow, I'll do a lot of experiments, but then this led me thinking about uh, Rick Friedrich's setup with his large main coil and then he's got layers above you know in the center of it of course you need that and then going up and down 
and sympathetic vibrations. But uh, yeah, I said, well, what if you use a Tesla bifiler type coil, but made out of that? And now you could <laughs> put many coils on top and below there. I myself have already done many experiments with this and these little coils sitting all around it, five of them, I think five or six underneath it, above it, and a load on each one. So I'm just asking you guys what you guys uh, think about that. I'd love to hear your uh, comments and that on that. So yeah. And that's that. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Four. Five. Remember I showed you earlier too? A power readings. Five point five. It was fluctuating, 5.5, 5.4, there you go. And I just showed you earlier, it's, so it's only about a half a watt right now. Oh my God. Uh. That's pretty nice. Just showing you guys, it's uh, yeah. They're all equally as bright too. I think I had an epiphany. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. But still, this is, this is still nothing. It's still, I just showed you I'm only applying a half a watt. Takes uh, five, well each one is like, there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> this thing can't, you can't put out 20. Oh my god, anyhow guys. This is nothing yet. I'll be showing you. That's the frequency we're at. I already showed you. It's only half a watt. Great things are coming. And I still know of other ways that I'm almost 100%, I'm like 98% sure that I'll be able to light many more. So I mean, this is nothing yet. Okay, I think the best results of the weekend here. Pretty nice.